Hello friends. So I have been getting requests on what books to read uh, regarding stock investments. And as we know, stock investment, it's a multidisciplinary field. So I thought to come up with a list of books, which I have read, I found it useful and I would like to suggest. So uh, if we look at uh, the investment field, it's a multidisciplinary field and that is why uh, we need to read books from various fields to, you know, gather that 360 knowledge. And these fields are, uh, we must know first the most basic how to analyze companies, which is company analysis, uh, how to analyze companies where we should not invest, uh, which is fraud analysis, how to value company because uh, not only understanding, but uh, buying company at the right price is important. So valuation analysis. Also the broader knowledge of how overall my market cycles, sector cycles, the work, which is market cycle. Uh, so this is more on the fundamental side than we have the technical analysis. Also we have uh, uh, system based investment strategies and that's a, another interesting area. Uh, coming from technology background, I try to embrace technology as much as possible. So I have added one more field called embracing analytics. Uh, which can help again in stock market uh, you know uh, investment and the last and the most important part which is the behavioral aspect and before telling the name of the book some of my learnings which i have tried to highlight here on the left side uh, we must do these things we must first plan and prioritize because there is so many things to read there are so many things to read and uh, so many books so we can't do everything in one go so the idea is to plan prioritize based on what is our priority? What is it where we want to build our expertise? Which are the areas first we want to you know, target and you know, have that understanding. Second most important thing is there are hundreds of books. So more than uh, you know, uh, reading what to read, it is also important what not to read. And the rule which I follow is if any book is not giving me that incremental knowledge, uh, then I don't uh, read a new book. And I especially believing in uh, reading books again and again than reading a lot of new books uh, because I feel there is a lot of incremental knowledge which can happen which doesn't happen when we read for the first time. Uh, the third and important part is only reading is not important. We must apply it because only when we apply it we are uh, aware of the pros and cons and we are aware of whether we have grasped the theory in the proper manner or not. Uh, the fourth one is recursive theory and practical. Uh, so it's like we read and then we apply, we learn from the application and again we go back to read and when we go back to read with the experience of application, we derive much more when we read for the second time and then, you know, we, we can do it quite a few times and my experience has been, uh, I was able to extract more and more every time when I went and read it after I did the uh, application part. And the last one, because of all this, the learning is incremental. Uh, so we must uh, read things again and again to ensure that we have extracted everything out of it. Uh, so based on that, let's now jump to the list of books. So when it comes to company analysis, the my most favorite book is Five Rules of Successful uh, Stock Investing. And apart from you know giving a very good framework to analyze companies, uh, you know. Uh, the best part of this book is this is one of I think this is the only book which uh, discusses sectors. So this book discusses some 14 plus sectors uh, in terms of how to identify opportunities, what are the pros, what are the strengths, weaknesses of sector. <coughs> the second book is value investing book uh, from uh, uh, from Greenwald, and this book touches upon. Uh, the valuation aspects and overall the concept of value investing in a lot of detail and again a very good book to read. Uh, then coming to, uh, so these two books, it helps you to build framework in terms of where to invest. But the third book, uh, it helps you to find what are the areas or what are the companies or what are the, you know, uh, specific, uh, you know, companies where we should not invest and why we should not invest because they have a pattern of manipulation or fraud. And that is where this book, Financial Shenanigans, is useful. And uh, you will have a lot of uh, uh, historical examples like how some of these companies conducted fraud and you will be able to identify some of the patterns and able to avoid such companies. The fourth book is from an Indian context uh, written by late Sir Parag Parikh, uh, which is a combination of, you know, 
the value investing aspect and the behavioral finance aspect uh, so this is also a very good book to read uh, uh, with an indian flavor uh coming to valuation so i consider this book uh, mckinsey uh, valuation book this is like the bible of valuation <coughs> and it covers all the in depth uh, detailed knowledge of how to approach valuation not only for stock but even for asset class the next book uh, it's not popular and uh, it's not a book which i read uh from stock market perspective but i see lot of uh, value which could be leverage in markets this book is case in point and the book is mainly for cracking mba interviews cracking consulting interviews but uh, i will tell you where i found the utility so whenever we do valuation valuations are lot of assumptions like any dcf model it's lot of assumption and the crux lies in how beautifully and how well how logically we are able to make those assumptions and how accurate those assumptions are and that is where this books comes because it gives a framework to think about the assumptions about the unstructured problems like you can take uh, in valuation market size opportunity could be one big area of assumption and the book helps to build a point of view on guesstimates how to make those assumptions how to think logically in that direction so that way this book is very helpful then comes the market cycle and psychology psychology and capital returns it remains one of my most favorite book i have read it more than 3 times and this is more important for people who are new to the market because they have not seen a bull and bear cycle how does it look like and that is where the capital return book comes <coughs> it gives you a flavor of how market tops out how bottoms are created how sector tops and bottoms are created what are the patterns the next book mania's panics and crashes this book gives a overall global summary of last 200 to 300 years of you know bubbles and burst how it has happened and there is lot of learning from you know the previous crashes because as they say history doesn't repeat but it rhymes so when it rhymes you will have those patterns and you can learn from those patterns now coming to technical analysis these are the two books i have selected for technical analysis the first book is by john murphy and it's a very easy to read simple to understand book which covers all the aspects uh, of the general technical analysis and the second book martin j pring i consider this again as like bible of technical analysis because everything is explained in lots and lots of detail like the price volume behavior how does volume react in different situations and how we should interpret uh, you know that specific behavior so i think these two books gives a very good perspective on general technical analysis now next coming to embracing analytics and technology so there are two parts to it one is the descriptive analysis and one is predictive analysis the first book is more on the descriptive analysis visualization and you know data interpretation and it is written by one of the well known journalist on wall street and uh, so that way this book is again uh, similar to you know our area and this book provides lot of perspective on how to use univariate analysis bivariate analysis how to use the right visualization how to do the right data interpretation the second book is more on the predictive analytics which is machine learning side but i think it is the one of the best book for somebody who doesn't have any experience in machine learning and if he wants to understand machine learning so that book will give a uh, perspective in in terms of algorithms uh, which we can learn and try to apply in the market in systematic and quantitative investments uh, next system based investments i have uh, five books and the first book is like it's like the most basic book but sometimes beauty lies in simplicity and that is what this book represents Uh, which talks of certain key metric and how was normal uh, systematic investment around these key metrics and checklist and filters can beat the market the second book uh, what works on wall street uh, this book is uh, good in terms of even though this book deals with univariate metrics like it does back testing of uh, market based on pe ratio price to book ratio it's a univariate but it gives you a flavor of how you should back test even if we are working on a multivariate uh, you know rule based uh, system how should we back test how should we analyze how should we know uh, what are parameters to take care of and it goes uh, in long 50 60 years of history of us market and provides all that numbers 
So this is a really good book. Now, in terms of system-based investing, if somebody wants to get into techno funda or momentum investing, those kind of things, then these are the two good books to read. Uh, first one is Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard against a combo of technical analysis and financial analysis. And the second book basically discusses the most uh, very popular concept called Canslim Framework. So these two are good books if you want to get into a techno funda system-based investing. And the last book on the same topic is Quantitative Value. Uh, which many may not know, but I think it's a very, very interesting book, again, on system investing. And it also briefly touches upon uh, machine learning concept application in stock market, like uh, one of the chapter deals with how to identify fraud patterns using a logistic regression. So this is, again, a little different but interesting book to read. And the last is because a lot of these books are uh, international books written on companies which are outside India. It is good to get flavor of you know Indian companies, and that is why I have highlighted these three books. But the first book, Masterclass with Super Investors, this is a book which is basically interview of some of the most successful investors in India, and there is a lot to learn from their decades of experience, their frameworks, their approach. So it is a very very good book to read. The second book is by Mr. Basant Maheshwari. Uh, I think he 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 was the pioneer of starting uh, investment forums in India. And uh, his 20 plus years of experience, his approach, uh, his uh, uh, detailings of the market and the Indian companies, uh, I think there is a lot of learning to be made. And we have already discussed uh, late Parag Pariksar's book, but uh, that book, apart from value and behavioral finance, again, that book also covers a lot of Indian perspectives. So yeah, these were some of the books which I have read and I found, found a lot of value and uh, maybe you can find it useful. Uh, also, Offlet, we have launched a training program where we have multiple tracks and multiple courses. Uh, we just recorded and put that webinar on our YouTube channel. So you can view that in case you, know, you would like to explore some of these. Thanks for your time.